At this point, it is time to form the piece of cane into a blank. To proceed, the cane should have a crease in the middle. This piece of cane already has a crease mark because it was shaped with a fold-over shaper. If I had used a straight shaper, there would not yet be a crease line. Most cane is 120 millimeters in length, so you will need to find and mark the center of the cane at 60 millimeters. Line up the middle of the cane with the edge of the ruler. To make the crease, gently press the cane and flatten it against the ruler. Bend the cane to about 90 degrees. Make sure you have a good crease. Next, we'll place the first wire. Take one end of the wire and wrap it one and a half times around. Do the same with the other end. Start the twist with your fingers. Trim the wire if necessary. I use a left hand or counterclockwise twist because I am left handed. You may twist in a clockwise direction if you are right handed. It doesn't really matter as long as you are consistent. Check the wire's position before twisting too tight. The wire should be one to two millimeters from the collar, which is where the bark meets the blade. When tightening the wire, pull, then twist up. Do not pull and twist at the same time because that tends to stretch and may break the wire. If the wire breaks, simply replace it with a new one. The wire is tight enough when you see small indentations form on both sides of the blank. Another test for tightness is to move the stem up and down. It's tight enough if just the stem moves. 